Um, we're going to do a network up, create channel, and then pass in the my channel and then the dash CA flag. So the dash CA flag is going to use the certificate authority. So let me do that now. So now we're creating the channel. Um, we're checking our local version. Um, we're creating all the we're creating the network. We're creating the the actual containers um, from the images, um, and we see we're there's a lot of stuff going on in the back. Uh, but let me kind of show you the uh, test network. Here's the network.sh. Um, So here we're checking the prereqs. We're going to create the organizations. So we're going to use the CryptoGen tool to generate the certificates. And we're going to pass in the configuration template um, using the dash dash config file. And then we're going to generate these public and private keys. Uh, we're going to create the consortium. We can cre uh, create that network. So we're going to generate these artifacts um, for the peer organizations. We're going to create the channel, deploy the chain code. That network down function is what, what I called earlier. So we're going to do docker remove. Um, that's mostly it. So these are mostly just uh, little options like verbose, uh, dash CA, um, where's dash CA? Just little options here. That's pretty much it. Um, so you can see anchor peers were updated, channel successfully joined. So I, basically, we've done all the things that we needed to do. And kind of in a more, to kind of like really understand what's going on, you'd probably want to run all these commands separately. Um, so you can see, you know, this is what the command, this is the command that's first uh, used, which is fabric CA enroll. And then we're creating that uh, public private key. Um, We've, reg we've reg registered the, the peer, um, register the user. Uh, you know, you can see the password, register the org admin. You can see these are the commands are, that are being um, used. Uh, more enrolling, um, generating the TLS certificates, uh, generating the membership service provider here, the admin MSP, um, creating the org two identities, registering the peers there, the user, the org admin. So doing the same thing that we did for org one, but for org two, um, more of the MSP again. And then we're gonna do more of the, um, we're gonna do the orderer. So the orderer needs to have an identity. It's, um, it's, it needs to have the admin, same thing with the MSP, same thing that we did before, generating the TLS certificate. And then we're doing the admin MSP. Now we do the CCP. So the CC, CCP files are the connection profiles. Um, so you can see that we're using a config transaction generator um, to, to generate the orderus, orderer genesis block. So we're using the crypto gen. Um, and we're using that. <clears throat> And then we're generating the Genesis block. We're writing to the Genesis block. That's kind of what we're doing here. Um, and then this is kind of a little bit more deeper, uh, deeper technical details, but we're generating the my channel transaction, um, peer update transactions, and we're creating the channel. And then we're reading the first block, uh, joining the peers, joining org two here. Um, and then using the org one, updating the anchor peers, doing that for org two. You can see this uh, channel is successfully joined. Great. Um, now we want to deploy the chain code, uh, and we can do um, just the JavaScript one. So we're going to do that now. <clears throat> 